Hello everyone. So in this video, I thought I'll probably share something uh, useful. Now I recently moved from uh, using uh, Emacs on terminal from using uh, Emacs uh, uh, UI. So basically, I all these years since the beginning, I have always used uh, Emacs on the terminal because uh, I also do a lot of things on the server, and uh, usually Emacs was my uh, number one choice for editor. Uh, and I don't really uh, remember if I ever felt the need to use the UI version of Emacs because the terminal version of, Ema of Emacs uh, was always working perfectly for me. Now, <clears throat> recently I uh, have started doing a bit of, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the videos that I make, I normally try to show my screen and uh, sometimes I'm, of course, uh, trying to also show some kind of a presentation in Emacs and everything is great but uh, now I am thinking of also inserting images in between although you can insert image in your Emacs document for example right now let us say this is your Emacs uh, org file and if you want to insert a file image from your computer to your Emacs document you can it is not really complicated all you need to do you need to press Control u then control C, control L, and it will ask you to uh, specify the path of your file and you can insert the file. And within Emacs, you can uh, also display, you can actually toggle this uh, inline image display mode so that uh, images can be displayed or you can actually uh, specify it in the header using startup uh, uh, tag here. Now, I will probably talk about uh, images separately because I'm still trying to figure out the best approach for me. But what I wanted to show you today was uh, the zoom in and zoom out uh, of uh, the text. Basically, if you want to work on a document and sometimes you need uh, to adjust the size on the fly, this is something very common because I use like two monitors right now. And when I'm on this, my uh, like right now, I'm recording this on my main monitor, which is uh, the laptop screen. And sometimes I have to zoom in. Now, this is something that I learned just uh recently so i you uh, because i was using emacs on terminal i was using st terminal by the way for your information and within st terminal you can actually zoom in zoom out uh using control shift let me just you know get rid of this so for the timing so yeah let us say this is your st terminal so i can do control shift page down page up and this is this is actually wonderful but uh, it is not really always ideal because uh, if uh, I, I mean, th yeah, th this is this is ideal for uh, the uh, terminal-based applications, uh, or basically when you do something with, within the terminal. But this shortcut will not work uh, if you're using Emacs. Um, and uh, although you can configure, I'm sure you can. Uh, so Control Shift page down, page up. Uh, I think page down is uh, already. Uh, I think that there is already a binding, but there is a way. There is a way to basically zoom in and zoom out so let us say you are uh, within your document so this is your org file all you need to do is it is actually very simple uh, it, you, you have to press ctrl x and then ctrl minus and it will uh, it will it will it will basically let you then uh, change the size again further by pressing uh, minus or uh, plus so basically all you need to do you need to get into this uh, zoom in zoom out zoom out uh, mode I, I don't think it is a mode it is basically uh, um, basically the, the moment you press control x and minus or control x plus or maybe control x zero so basically plus minus and zero they are uh, the three uh, things that you can do with your text so basically you have to do control x not just control x and plus you have to do control x control plus control x control minus control x control zero so let, let us do it one more time. So I'll press escape. So right now we are looking at this document and the text is probably a bit big. So I'll do control X and then control uh, minus. And now we, so the moment you press this command, it will of course you now do something like if I, if I press minus, control X, control minus, it will reduce the size once. And I can further uh, uh, press minus or plus to uh, change the size consecutively. Uh, without uh, pressing Control X again, and now if I want to reset, I can do zero. So this works wonderfully, uh, wonderfully well. Uh, 
I know that it is like a bit annoying because uh, you are pressing control X, control plus, and uh, you have to basically use this control X and then control plus to initiate this. But to be honest, if you are uh, if you are if you are Emacs user already, I don't think uh, it should uh, be a massive uh, problem because uh, this is what uh, you are anyways doing in Emacs. People use uh, these things. Uh, uh, I mean, if you're using Emacs, then I'm sure you you are used to Control X, and uh, it should not be difficult. But I didn't know that that you can also uh, I mean, I, I don't know how to use this zoom in, zoom out. And by the way, you can also do it uh, using mouse. So you don't have to use your keyboard. But again, I mean, using a mouse is a bit of a shame. So let me show you. So if you are using your mouse, uh, of course, you can do scroll up and scroll down. But if you press control, you can basically do the same thing using mouse wheel. But of course, you know, this, this is not really uh, ideal for most of the keyboard based users. I mean, uh, I try to not use the mouse as much as I can. I mean, I, I'm not against the mouse, but uh, I mean, if I can do something with the keyboard, then it will make me fast, efficient. And uh, when you're doing things on the keyboard, uh, I, I think uh, your fingers also remember all those uh, shortcuts. Sometimes I, I do, I mean, I do a lot of things. Uh, I, I remember a lot of shortcuts that I don't really know, but, I'm, but my fingers know. So it's like a muscle memory for your fingers. So. If you want to be efficient, if you want to do your work quickly, even if you can save uh, maybe five seconds, then do that. And uh, although you can do zoom in and zoom out using mouse, but that was not I was looking for. And uh, fortunately, with the help of Stack Overflow and uh, and a quick Google search, I was able to figure out that you can do Control X, Control Plus, and then plus 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 minus 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 or zero to basically zoom in zoom out or reset to, to the default uh, zoom and by the way when you when you do these things you're not basically calling a command so if you want to do it using a command so you can press uh, of course uh, you can do meta x and the command is uh, text scale increase and uh, it will of course do it for you let us do it one more time and uh, and of course you know you can uh, do decrease as well so there is a command of course and if, if there is a command you can always use your own custom uh, shortcuts or key bindings so that uh, you can uh, basically um, use your own shortcuts or key bindings if you are used to something else but to be honest i think uh, i am fine with it although i do miss the control shift con like control shift and page up and page down but i think I, th I think with within a couple of days I'll get used to it. Uh, I try not to. Run, I mean, whenever I have, I have to learn new shortcuts or new key bindings, I try to um, avoid it if I can, because I I think remembering a new key binding both for your mind and also for your fingers can be uh, difficult especially if you have been using computers for 30 years and uh, and you already have so many shortcuts uh, that you're using. So that's a good thing about uh, Emacs. Uh, I'll probably play with this for a couple of days. And if I can't, if I find it a bit too difficult to press Control X, Control Plus, then I'll probably uh, use my own key bindings. And uh, there is a possibility because there is a command that you can basically use uh, in your init file to configure these uh, custom key bindings. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.